In this video, we're going to be talking about the mechanics of the basic Barambolo. In this situation, I'm going to be really looking to identify if his weight is on his hands or if his weight is on his hips. So if you're able to get the knockdown all the way or if they're staying a little bit higher. So as I'm in the Barambolo, as I'm in the Barambolo here, and I start to invert through, I'm going to start to identify where his weight is. As I start to invert, I'm really looking to notice if his weight is on his hip here. If so, now I'm going to look to elevate his hips off the mat by stacking him in a, in a manner like this. All right, I'm using my legs to start stacking his hips up off the mat so that I can start to climb up the back and I can really get my chest underneath his hips. Once I can do this, it's easy to sling the leg in and attack the back. I can also, if I start to invert through, but his hip is off of the floor, as I go, and I can't really, um, I don't need to stack his hips, right? I can actually, because his hips are off of the mat, I can actually sling his hips up and over and kind of catapult them into my lap, loading them onto this hook here, locking it in place, and I have his hips in place here where I can climb on the other side. So now I'm going to extend him away, already keeping the, the first hook, applying my seatbelt, throwing the second hook. So as I start to attack the Barambolo, now I'm really going to look to see if his hips are on the mat or if his hips are off the mat. If his hips are on the mat in this situation, I need to invert and use my legs to stack his hips to get them off of the mat. So I'm going to be looking to bite down and I'm looking to use my legs to lever and kind of fulcrum to lift his hips off of the mat. As his hips are nice and high, I'm going to be looking to the far hip here, switching my hand to the back. Now I can get my chest underneath his hips. Once his hips are loaded up, it's easy for me to extend him away, climbing up to the back, throwing the hook in, and applying the seatbelt. Likewise, if I go underneath and his hips elevate off of the mat, now what I'm gonna be looking to do is using my hand to go underneath right away to the far hip right here. As I invert, He's lifted his hips off the mat. I'm going to switch to the far leg. And because he's lifted his hips off of the mat, I'm free to lock in onto his torso, clamping down on his leg. And I'm free to catapult his hips over the top, hooking behind his leg and dropping him into my lap. Again, applying the seat belt and both hooks. So one more time, for the first one, as I invert through, his hips are gonna stay on the mat. I'm gonna go through, my hand goes to the far side, I'm clamping down and using my leg as a fulcrum here to elevate his hips. As the leg elevates the hips, my chest goes underneath, and now I can really pull his hips into my lap by extending away and pulling him close. I can place the hook over the top of my arm, now I'm free to reach underneath and start climbing the back. And one more time, if the hips are off the mat, I'm not gonna stay on the, on the hip right here. I'm gonna reach to the far hip underneath because he's elevated his hips. So as he creates that space, I take my hand underneath, I start loading him up, and I place the hook, dropping him into the lap throwing the seatbelt and the other hook.